there's a way to blow this thing up with just one pretty good sized breath. So you guys uh, repeat after me. Welcome to Faraday Studios. Welcome, Welcome to Faraday Studios. Home of the mighty wizard, Jake. Home of the mighty wizard, Jake. Sometimes you have to use fancy equipment, you know, electronics and computers and explosive chemicals and all sorts of stuff. This is a very simple activity that is going to stretch their brains a little bit, hopefully. Oh, I've seen these for 20 years. These are called Bernoulli bags. He was a mathematician and you'll see a lot of his work, especially with if you study airplanes or aerodynamics, you hear about the Bernoulli effect. This thing's a trash bag, isn't it? Now we're gonna blow this thing up like a blown up a balloon. The question is, how many breaths will it take to inflate this thing? So who's got the most wind here? That's a dangerous question. Probably him. Oh, that's right, because you played the trumpet at one time, right? And I'm a runner. And you're a runner. Your estimate was what? 40. And you said? 50. And you said? 100. Okay. Get him started. There goes Beckett. Ah. That's good enough. That's good enough. 35. 35 breaths. 35. Look at that man's hands. 35. Now, hold on, don't let that out in the house here. We don't go. Now, what I understand is that if you could think there's a way that you could blow this up with one breath, one exhalation. That's a big man. <laughs> it's a big man. Definitely. Let's go ahead and let the air back out. Everybody take a deep breath before we do. There is a way, and I've seen it done before, that you can blow this up with one breath. It takes a little practice, but you can do it with one breath. It's really kind of cool. You know those other experiments we've done, demonstrations where we manipulate air? There are people that actually study manipulating air, you know, aeronautical engineers. They make their whole life's work of, how can I manipulate the air to get to do things? You know, like design a fan or hair dryer, designing a car so it will cut through the air, designing a parachute. There's a way to blow this thing up with just one pretty good sized breath. When air moves, the, the pressure changes. And that makes sense, because air molecules are bouncing around like this all the time. But if they get knocked sideways, I can't push this way anymore, because I'm going that way. Somebody messed me up. If I'm an air molecule or something, and if I move this way, what happens to the space where I used to be? There's nothing there. There's nothing, so. Nothing there. So what's around that space that I, if I left, if I took one air molecule and said, I'm going over here, what would be left behind? Zip zero, not a nothing. What do you think the guys around that space are going to do? Squeeze in. Fill it. They're going to move right on in there because the Earth's gravity is pulling down on that air all the time, trying to squeeze it down. Anytime a piece of air moves, there's going to be some air right around. It's going to go, let's get in there. So are we ready for this? Let's have a drum roll. Oh, wow. Did it. Let's do that again. Go back down. One breath. There it comes. Oh, that was Almost. close. That was close. Now see if you leave a space. Can you leave a space between the bag and your mouth? See, see how big a space you can leave. You saw it, right? Mm-hmm. That was wow. cool. So that must mean that your breath is doing what? What's that breath you put out? What's it Making doing? Making a space, and everybody else is getting in the space, and it keeps on going. And those guys move, and they make some more. And then everybody else moves. Got a traffic jam here. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to the party. There uh -huh. must be a party down at the end of the room. Oh, yeah. We're all trying to get down there. There we go. That was better. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, good. You know, I, however, really just can't see what's going on. And that's usually where people quit. They say, okay, everybody, oh, the bag blew up, the bag blew up. But you know all that air that's rushing in down there by his mouth? You can't see it happening. I don't know if this is going to work because I've never done it. This is going to be the first time. Everybody go, ooh. 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 So I'm going to try this. I don't know if it'll work. How could we make all that air action down there visible to us? I bet we could put a little smoke. So here's a, this is a little smoke wafer. Are you ready? Yep. Let's light that thing and see what it does. There you go. Okay. Oh, I saw that. Did you see it right over the thing? You see it going in there? Mm hmm Did you guys see that stream? A little bit. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> okay, there you go. Nice idea. Oh, wow, I that's definitely saw it going in there. I see it coming out. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool that we actually figured out a way to enhance our demonstration. Didn't we just do something? What was that device you guys built? Oh, the, the manometer. manometer. We'll get the manometer out and see if it will detect the change. 
We're going to test, and I want you to put this detector at different locations. Hold it here when he blows once, and then hold it there, and we'll see if we can see anything. Okay. Three, two, one. I thought it looked like there was a definite little, change. A little fleck there. So, it, so there is a change in air pressure right between his mouth and the hole here and get it right in there and see what happens. Did you, do you think we saw anything? I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? Here we go, Tess, go. <laughs> oh yeah, there definitely, there definitely was one. So we're getting some changes in air pressure and that's enough to to pull it into the bag. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe that this is doing what's doing, it's just too bad for you because Mr. Bernoulli is a pretty smart old boy and we, we appreciate his work. And if you appreciate what you saw today, you know, you can always subscribe. We'd be glad to have you subscribe anytime. And where you come to, what sites do we have? Patreon. Patreon. TikTok. TikTok. Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. Well, thank you so much.